I'm going to present to you the Neuron Action, which is a parametric structure made in collaboration with a lot of people. So I had Ingeneric, I had uh, Antonio Mechas, I had a VP map and sound design by Inertia, 3D fabrication helped by Ana Correa and Agustin. Uh, so the work you can see downstairs, it is divided in three parts. First, you have a calibration mode. We use a sensor that uh, grabs your attention by focusing. I will explain this soon. So we have the calibration mode. You have to go first and calibrate your mind inside the computer. This happens by um, what they call neurotags. So this is a neural tag that you have to calibrate your mind inside the computer. And the work uses the neural tags that is the, the transformation of this digital neural tag into the physical neural tag that you can see there. So the work is divided into three, three parts. Calibration mode first, that takes 45 seconds. And then you have the interactive mode. You have your sensor calibrated and nicely, and then now you interact with neuron tags. It's like as if you play with your mind, because you can look to different neuron tags, and these different neuron tags activate uh, animations. So you can be looking to them and playing with your focus. And we also have the standby mode, that is when nobody's interacting with the work. I created the animations to grab the attention. The structure is like a, a brain, a neuronal network. So the idea is that you can go inside this structure as if you are inside your mind and you can interact with your, your, your mind inside your own structure of, of a neuronal network. Uh, so everybody asks me all the time, how does it work? And I say, okay, Next Mind is a technology that decodes the act of focusing. Um, I'll explain, like, you can understand this better. So you have tags, and then you sense these tags, and the, 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 the sensor decodes these tags and activates something. And this is like a loop. You need the tags. The neuro tags is like a key, keyword code, but in form of neuro tags. And then after you calibrate your mind inside the computer, you can activate those neuro tags. So we created personalized neuro tags for this work, which means that we took the frequency of the digital neuro tags in the monitor and then we replaced it with um, frequency of blink. You can understand here. This was the first test. So the software engineer, he grabbed these this, this vibrations of the, the tags and translated to the LEDs of the neuron tags. That's the way it works. So we have the uh, process of working here. We were printing the nodes in TPU Hardness Plus a material, very mechanical hard uh, material that can create structures. And we were using tubes of LEDs and yes, you can see the process. And this is expanded eye. This is a work that Vicente was explaining to you. That is um, a work that allows you to play with your vision. So you look to this camera and this camera grab your eyes and then it multiplies your eyes on the back of this sculpture. So you have like a multiplication of 500 of your eyes and when you blink it multiplies, it multiplies faster. It was a playing with your vision. Now you play with your mind. And uh, I wanted to explain to you where these ideas came from. One year ago, I, I got a commission to develop a public art in Ireland. 
and I'm still in process of production of this work. And I, I, I wanted to show you where these ideas of joints came from. Yeah, it was one year ago when I started uh, developing this type of projects. And yeah, this work is going to be translated in, in metal pieces. You can see here the metal pieces and a little bit of the, the maquette. And, and I, I also did another work for the Vivid Festival in Sydney, Australia, which was a, a little bit similar of this one, creation of these nodes, and then you can create these uh, pieces. This one was two independent objects that they entangle between each other, and it forms this this light uh, behavior sculpture that is also sensitive to presence of people. And that's it, thank you. Well, maybe it's the moment that it's, I'm supposed to do some brilliant question or reflection about this work, you know, and maybe we can talk about why, why your why you are always working with organic things, you know, with, uh, how, why is so present in your work the organic part, thinking? Um, because I, I, my work, I, I, I try to affect and activate at the same time things. So it, human beings are always the most important thing when it, they interact with the works. And I, I bring life to, to, to technology in a way that I, try to relate the technology in a, in a human level. So it's, it's affection and it's the activation and it's, yeah, I'm trying to mix those things. So I, I yeah, organic is natural. It's natural in your work. Yeah, it's like the body. Where the body come from? Organic, we are all organic. And creating some beauty about relating, not some affective beauty. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someone uh, has any questions. Do you have any questions? Nobody? Eh? Okay, then we can close. Thank you very much. Thank you.